The first time I witnessed a preventable death was on my first night shift as a mo on the mobile intensive care unit. It was a case of cardiac arrest. The death that night is what inspired us to start Heartland. Out of possible cardiac arrest cases, nearly doubled since 2006, reaching to almost half a million cases annually in North America. Unfortunately, the survival rate is only 8 to 12 percent, and bystander help rates rarely exceed 20 percent. Fortunately, proper CPR and AED administration triples the chance of survival. Articles published in medical journals show that racialized and low socioeconomic communities have the highest rates of hospitalization for 21 medical conditions and the lowest rates of basic life-saving knowledge. We are here trying to change that. We have two lines of operations, one in which we offer these courses for a competitive price to businesses that require under WSAB on a reoccurring basis to have these certifications to daycares, these summer camps, medical offices, police officers, ambulances, and we target these through B2B sales. There are other companies that provide the services, but the beating heart of our social enterprise is that we provide courses to vulnerable populations at no monetary expense, uh, who will not be able to afford it otherwise. We have also instructors who are bilingual to further help us expand our reach. We also have a renewal tracking service where employers don't have to worry about when their employees get certified because we track it for them and show up to train them when their certification expires. Through our partnership with community health centers across Ontario, we provide free courses at no monetary expenses to the most vulnerable populations in our country. As partners of UFD Faculty of Medicine, we have a volunteer-based instructor force from dedicated pre-medical and medical students. We have already certified over 150 individuals and have generated a revenue of up to $10,000 from grants and courses. We aim to certify 500 individuals in the upcoming year. We'll use the money to buy equipment for our team in Ottawa, which is ready to start courses in September. This will ensure that we expand further to provide it, to provide paid for courses, which in turn will help us further continue our average initiative to give people for vulnerable populations free vital life-saving knowledge. This is a picture from one of our participants that really substantially benefited from our free services.